we decided to go hiking today because this is the only thing that we could do since everything is closed yes so this is our quarantine and chill day and you guys look at this trail now you wouldn't think i was from la because i i don't think i've ever been on this trail but look at the view that's downtown la right there they have martin luther king his own statue and then they have i have a dream there and everybody's just chilling on this nice quarantine day and so we're about to keep walking because we're fat and out of shape so yeah so you guys will just be following <laughs> you guys will just be following us and i look black as hell you guys will just be following us on this trail <laughs> okay so y'all know this is my first vlog so i don't really know what to say or do and i keep on missing the funny moments because the person that i'm with is like a really special character we'll just say that and i keep missing the moments okay now we're going uphill so i might turn this camera off because i don't know y'all really thinking i'm fat anyways we'll holla at y'all when something interesting come around this trail like a snake or something a rattlesnake or some shit all right bye update he's rude as hell like i can't even freaking walk on the trail without him telling me something about me walking wrong on the trail so honestly y'all i'm just about to vlog by myself and i'm on this trail by myself as far as i know don't know who this person is so it's just me it might be a rattlesnake in those bushes go jump in there see you go jump in there Imagine if I got bit by some new one. We'll just call 911. You act like we don't have no service. 911 ain't gonna do shit. It's a cell tower right there. They'll come. I mean, I mean. What are they gonna do about the rattlesnake? I don't know. Are they venomous? Yes. Okay, well, then they're gonna just have to come, try to give you some type of medication. Just, oh, you think they just walk around with rattlesnake poison? I mean. At EMT, they have literally everything. Not a not fucking rattlesnake antidote. Why? Because why would they? They do. They literally have everything. Oh, Once you God. call them, they like, okay, on the way. He gonna tell me I'm in the EMT course, okay? They told us what to do about bites and stings. Yeah, not everything. Snake, not rattlesnake bites. Everything bites and stings. You know how long it'll take them to get rattlesnake poison? Oh we don't my even God. Have, the point is, we, we tried. The point is, we I called and I tried. We don't even have rattlesnakes in LA wait, for them to just be wait, walking around with Wait, I seen a movie poison. and they said, they said that you, like, I seen somebody get some. You can't suck it out. No. That's what I was about to say on the movie. You can't suck that. it out. Because it's poisonous, right? You can't suck it out. That's fake movie shit. If That's you, what I'm about to if say. If you like, get bit by a snake, you can go right to your damn veins. Uh -huh. you can't, Travel out through your body and just... Yeah, you can't suck nothing out of nobody's veins. That's what they do in the movies. I wasn't going to try it anyways because it's poisonous, so why would I put it in my mouth? If you spit it out, you'd be all right. Well, according to the movies. No. The ball when it look like this, We in Baldwin Hills? Y'all, I'm sorry. I literally don't have no sense of that. Oh, my God. I don't have no sense of direction, so I don't really know. I promise y'all, I've lived in L.A. my whole life, but I don't have no sense of direction. I don't know where nothing is. don't know where I am, but I drove here and got here, but I don't know where I am. And I'm walking off the trail now, so if I fall, hopefully somebody finds this video. Lie. Somebody finds this video. That's a street. Yeah. See? We're in the middle of the freaking city. They put these trees here to make it look like, oh my God, you're in the mountain somewhere, but the street is right there. So, go for them. This probably doesn't even work. No, this probably doesn't. So they need to just throw that away. Oh, I can't zoom in. That's the Hollywood sign. Where is it on this camera? I can't find it. On this camera the green tree it's right to the right oh yeah you, you can't see it and i can't zoom in but it's right there the hollywood sign is right there the mountains and stuff the hollywood sign is right there um anyways yeah so see y'all later again 
once he's mean to me because that's the only time I start vlogging. So he'll be mean pretty soon. So see y'all again. We about to run up this hill. That's what we about to do, right? Yep. We about to run up this hill. You get ready? No, for real. You about to. Okay. I'm being serious. He lazy. All right. Bye, y'all. I got to run up this hill. Stop. Come on. Come Why on. didn't you just start it again? Come on. Come on. Because as soon as I turned the camera off, y'all, he said he wasn't running up the hill. Come on. Come on. No. I have she hurt. I'm not going to hurt myself. Excuses. Come on. Let's get it. Ready? Set. You know what? F you. He's still walking. He's still walking. Is this the top yet? <gasps> Lazy as hell. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> He's ignorant. scare it. Where is it? Come here, hurry up. Where is it? Come here. Where is it? Come right here. You see it? No. Like bend down. It's sitting on that branch. I see see it, it moving? What is that? A lizard. Oh, I was right. <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all, so this is a hummingbird, the hummingbird garden. And you can see all the small little hummingbirds over there. And you see this big ass squirrel. Squirrel's really ain't shit. Like he's in there fucking they food up right there. Y'all see him? He up in there fucking they food up. Squirrel's really ain't shit. Wow. I should throw something at him, but I'm not gonna do that because y'all gonna strike me. Look at all the hummingbirds like right there. And up there. Oh, wait, look at the baby. Look at him. Oh. Not a squirrel when I leave. Fucker. Oh, what are those really, really little babies? Oh. Okay, y'all, so we're talking about gender roles. I don't know how we that, got on this topic that's of not gender what roles. We was talking about. And so we're saying how it was this thing on Twitter, and this man was holding the door open for this girl, and she was like, um, as you should, instead of saying thank you. So I'm like, even though it's like the right or the courteous thing to do as a man, you still should thank him because he literally legit doesn't have to. Even if in your social life it's courteous and that's what men are supposed to do, they still don't have to. And so he was saying, like, and that's crazy because I wouldn't even say the right thing to do because, like, our society would say, repeat what you said. Repeat what you said. Okay, so I'm a sociology major. <laughs> so we study things like this and, like, this, that, and the third. And, like, yeah. No, what you were saying. I don't remember okay, exactly what he what was said. saying was, like, I wouldn't even say it's the right thing to do because in our society, women always say like men should hold the door but men should take the trash out but if a man was to say women should clean the house women should cook it would be like he's wrong yeah he's wrong but then i'm like but there is double standards in society of course as far as men and women being hoes of course men and women being promiscuous of course there's there's double standards so like equal out the playing field wait, wait just because it's double standards we should like just ignore the gender roles I get what you're saying, but I don't even know. Like, okay, so I would say it's like a courteous thing, 
but it's for the most part, thing, women do cook for their men. Still. No, it, it's a courteous thing because society says it's a courteous thing, and like our society in other societies, a man would not open a door. A woman would open a door for their husband. This that was like thing. fucking. That was. I mean, that was like years ago. Exactly. That's my point. But you just live in this society where a man should hold the door. Yes, yes, I always hold the door open because, you know, it is courteous, but that don't mean it's not a gender role because I'm a courteous person. No, I get you. It is a gender role, but he tried to start getting off on me, y'all, because... I didn't start getting out. No, okay. you did. You said, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? And I'm like, okay, but that's not like... It's not like that's the only... Um, double standard that society has because no, no, there's a bunch that, yeah. of double standards on yeah. females like yeah, if I tell you the difference it, between what my brothers do and what I'm allowed to yes, do it's more double standards and, and, and stuff on on the women's side but that don't mean ignore the ones on the, on the men yeah I get you but y'all don't care about the ones on the women's side so who is y'all I care <laughs> uh, gender roles is so crazy still to this day it's like still a lot to talk about um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that we just got into an argument. It really wasn't an knows. argument. It no, was I'm just, just playing. We just was talking. It was just me stating my claim as a sociologist. You know. Okay. I, see me as a sociologist. Oh my! He I, always, bro. Every time we talk about like society and social norms or something, I got to do with race, gender, anything. You know, me as a since I'm a sociology major. Since I'm a sociology major. I'm not like on, okay, I'm and not, I'm not on one side or another. I'm just you know. Stating the Stating facts. facts. I feel you. That's what I do about like science and biology and stuff. Exactly. And, and you, people, I'm a bio major, so I know this guy. I don't say that. that. I don't say that. You, you I just did, state but, yeah. the only reason, the only reason if I do bring up something, I'm like, okay, but I'm literally doing research. Like if we'll have a conversation about like a virus or uh, like DNA or um, evolution or something, people would try to sit here and argue with me on like the latest facts that science has or like the latest information that they found and I'm like I'm literally doing research currently on this and also I have the history of it yeah so basically so, you're saying I'm so a, basically google it no, and you'll figure it out you're saying I'm a bio major and I know what I'm talking about you just don't say it just like that yeah but it's yeah. like the people that I be talking to really just they see stuff and that's another thing y'all a lot of people that I know that I be talking to, they'll bring it up to like this coronavirus stuff. They'll see things like on Instagram that just people create either as a joke or because they really believe it. And they'll take it to the head. And when they're having a conversation about coronavirus or anything like that, they'll really like try and state those as facts. And I'm like, where did you hear that from? And they're like, oh, I seen something about it. I seen something about it. And I'm like, okay, was it an article? Like, what did you see about it? And then, like, later, I'll be scrolling, because I don't really be on social media like that. But I'll be scrolling, and then I'll see the same thing. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, people are really spreading misinformation. Please do y'all backup research. If you see something on social media, Instagram, Facebook, one is not more reliable or credible than the other. Do y'all own personal research. There's a lot of articles that come straight from doctors, straight from Wuhan, the doctors who found this virus. Well, the virus has been around, but this strain of the virus and there's people who work in that profession that knows way more than society knows so do y'all research read the cdc read the world health organization and look at doctor's articles and y'all will figure it out for yourself that's it i don't know how we just went off on this tangent but um anyways this hike is lovely and i'll holler What? Now y'all really see how mean he is. Because I know y'all just heard him mock me. Mean at all. Anyways, we'll holla at y'all when we get to the car probably because we're about to start running up hills and stuff. And I don't want y'all to see me fat and out of shape. Tonight, oh, I wanna run